Hi, welcome back to ZW3D Design Tutorial. It's Ben. In the last lesson, you've learned some basic operations in ZW3D. And this time, you will learn sketch settings, how to draw the sketch, how to define the dimension and constraint, and some sketch skills. So let's get started. First, settings. Open the software. Choose the tab Tools, find Settings column, and click Preference. In this dialog, you can set the sketch unit as MM. Some general parameters could be set in configuration if you would like to customize them. Second, Drawing Sketch. There are some basic commands of sketch such as line, circle, point, point curve. Besides, there are some key commands including Quick draw, trace profile, ready sketch, and ready sketch test. Let's do a case. No doubt, the first step is to create a new part file. Here we name it as training sketch. Check the units. The default unit is mm. Insert the sketch from the right menu. Pick the XY plane, click the middle mouse button, check the sketch unit again. It's MM, the same as the path setting. Unpick the second option. No problem, OK. Check the configuration. Choose 2D tab. Unpick some constraint options. Then switch to File Table. Define the working file folders as you like. OK. Back to the Sketch tab, you can see Drawing, Curve, Edit Curve, and other columns. Let's draw something. How about double line? Pick these points, and pick these settings options to create a closed geometry with arc. And change these values to finish. OK, here it is. Let's try rectangle. Pick two points. Move your mouse. Done. Very easy. Slot geometry. Define two center points and radius. Done. For point curve, just need to pick some points in any position. Double click to modify it. For example, modify position. Select the control point to change it. Change the other one. During this process, pick this option to display curvature comp. Then curve information will be more intuitive. Create an offset curve in both direction. Also, there is equation curve, providing several different types. Double click to select it, and then define a new location. This is the helical curve. All of these operations are easy to learn. The following section will introduce the quick draw. Firstly, create a new file. Name it Quick Draw. OK. Click Draw. Directly select points to draw lines. Here, you draw a triangle. There are other options for you. The second type is Tangent Arcs. You draw a line first, left click to change the control condition and then draw tangent arcs. The third type is three-point arc. Pick the first point, press Alt button on your keyboard to define the second. Directly pick the third. The fourth type is circle. Press Alt to define the center point and then select 
a boundary point. The fifth type is radius arc. Pick the first point, press out for second point, and then input the radius. Then move your mouse to find the shape you want. The sixth type is spline curve. Select the first point and press out for second and third point. Then directly pick other points. Also, you can double click to edit it. Next, we will introduce the trace profile. Again, create a new file, name it trace profile. Insert sketch, choose XY plane. Now draw a rectangle by two points. Add circle geometry. And then do it again on the other side. Now Add dimensions. The length is 200. The radius for the right circle is 60. Then add constraint. Locate center point on the line. Close the window. Now create a trace profile. Select the position point. This blue profile is created to be trace profile. Exit sketch. Here, extrude this sketch to make a model. Define the extrude value. Continue to add another sketch. Select the top face. Create a ready sketch for example, octagon. Define the base point. Select the dimension to modify. You will find delay soft option is picked. Pick the region icon to set the sketch as auto region. Now edit it again. Close the window. Access. Make an extrude cut operation. Change the values. OK. Add new sketch again. Create a ready sketch text. Define an origin and input the text. This kind of text is curved geometry. So we can just type ready sketch text. Then define the size. OK. Access sketch. So this text sketch could be extruded. Define these parameters to get the solid model. Done. For trace profile, what is the advantages? Let's see. Redefine the first sketch. Turn on the dimensions and modify them. The radius is 70. Set auto region. Do it again. Now the trace profile is auto region. Add the width dimension. Set it as 80. The radius of the left circle is 30. Close the window. Also set auto region. 
do that again. Back to modeling environment. So now you can see the model is updated.